Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Post ride, what to eat. After a bike ride, you're generally <laughs> the most hungry you'll ever be in your life, and so every meal should be spectacular. My favorite post ride meal is a grilled cheese and tomato slice sandwich, and I'm going to show you how I make mine. First of all, I start with Tillamook extra sharp cheddar, a few slices of that. I buy the gigantic, I, I do eat a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches, so I have the huge brick uh, of Tillamook, and it lasts a long time, and I would imagine price per pound is a little bit more reasonable than the smaller packages, but I'm not sure about that, I've never checked. So pretty thin, so that it melts quickly. That's about the right thickness. You don't want it to be too chunky because then the bread burns before the cheese has melted. Tomato. A couple of tomato slices. One thing I do absolutely love besides running a sharp blade across my lips is a little salt on a tomato. I don't know. This is like one of the most essential elements of high quality living. Oh, and heavenly. So good. Why is it the salt and the tomato go so well together? I don't know. All right. This is an important element. This is a cast iron skillet that's been conditioned to be uh, very stick proof <laughs> uh, and it's taken many years to get this cast iron skillet to be the perfect uh, conditioning anyway, in the perfect condition. So I like a little olive oil a little bit lighter. Some people like mayonnaise. Some people like butter. Piece of bread. Olive oil. Little olive oil on there. And I like to do it over the plate so that afterwards you can soak it up. Then the cheese on one side. and the tomatoes on the other. While it's cooking, which doesn't take very long, um, I usually reflect on my ride. <laughs> For better or worse, if I felt good, it's great. If I haven't felt that good, um, I'm usually pretty despondent. <laughs> But I'm always thankful every single time uh, that I've been able to do a bike ride because that's not every single day of the year, obviously. I put it on high heat. My stove is a uh, gas fire, um, but electric range will do also. I wait until the cheese starts to melt just a little bit and is in good position. You can see with a well-conditioned cast iron skillet, uh, almost nothing can stick to that. I did spill a little salt. I think that's good luck. I, I believe in spilt salt being good luck. Extra sharp cheddar from Tillamook. Very, very good. 15 months aged. I'm not sure where it's aged. It's been in my refrigerator for only a few days and it's almost gone. <laughs> yeah. Refrigerator comes from New Zealand. Fisher Paycal. Uh, it's a nice unit, very efficient. Got the freezer down here. Got ice in the freezer. And I keep my compostables down here. So if your community has a compostable program, you are on the cutting edge of recyclable efficiency. 
and it's now it's starting to smell good. And after a ride, um, starving hungry, I like a nice crisp browning on the back of the bread. And I usually, right when the cheese starts to melt, uh, is the right time. Still a few more, few more moments over there. Sometimes if I'm really hungry, I'll also have a bowl of soup with this, but it's, it's uh, really gratifying. After about four, four and a half, maybe five minutes, put them together, nice golden brown, perfect. Flip it once more, and your grilled cheese is ready. I like to slice it in half at a rakish angle. Now that is one of the most gratifying post-ride snacks imaginable. This is good eating. Bon appetito everybody. Click on my face. If you'd like to subscribe, click on the t-shirt icon if you'd like to buy some merchandise. Thumbs up please, go a long ways in keeping me engaged with these videos. Let me know what recipes you have, what you like in the comments section post-ride, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter at your leisure. Bon appetito everybody.